Marina, you obviously have a, a very big fight coming up on Saturday at UFC 272 against Maria Agapova, but there's a lot going on in the world right now. Your home country is Ukraine, and Russia invaded Ukraine last week. What are your thoughts on this, and, and how is it affecting you personally going into a very big fight? Right now, I feel a little bit nervous because, uh, yeah, in Ukraine, terrible time, um, hard time. I worry about my family, but my position, I stay ready for fight. I prepared a lot and I'm ready for show everything and I want to my flag to be in octagon. Has it been difficult to prepare for this fight the last few weeks? Because I know that I'm sure you've been in touch with family, you've been watching the news and seeing what's going on in Ukraine. Has it been difficult? Uh, it was close the fight, but all my camp was I work hard, uh, work hard always. I work 100 percent, like tough every day. Come in gym, not miss, no, not one train, and. The close the fight is happening in Ukraine, war with Russia. Russia start war with Ukraine. And of course, couple of days I, I so cry because I call mother, panic. But I, I train, I still train. I come in gym and focus like one hour train, focus for fight, my game plans. And after I start think about my, after train, I start think about my family, about Ukraine. Um, yeah, it's really a couple of days very hard for me. But my mother, so hard woman, uh, so strong woman, and she support me like, hey, let's go, you fighter. We fighter too, like right now fighting in U Ukraine. D don't uh, be like uh, nervous, uh, don't nervous, focus, you're strong, we, everything will be fine. So my family right now support me, I try support for him, So and my husband support me, so I have big support. And uh, many people right now start message me, good message. Of course, we have a lot of haters right now, but thank you everyone, every my sponsors who support me and help in this camp and stay focused. You said you've been in touch with your family and your mom. What are they saying about, about what's happening? What are, they, what are they saying about, you know, everything that's going on in, in Ukraine? My mother is so worried. My father make cocktail, uh, cocktail uh, Molotov right now, a lot make. My sister and my mother right now with uh, guns at home and ready for um, uh, uh, invasion uh, home city. My uh, family have farm with animals and my mother stolen cheese, make cheese, uh, milk, and now she not stolen. She support army, support people, and she give everything food for free. And right now many of my sponsor help like donuts for uh, Ukraine, uh, help for money sent for my family, uh, for um, just for my family make uh, kill uh, animals and make uh, meat for uh, guys for eat uh, for armia uh, so i uh, i respect my family that she help for people stay strong and for uh, like donuts donut donations. donuts donations for people because it's good deal because god see good deal and uh, god help how does it make you feel that you know they're they're doing all these things they're they're literally bringing guns and your dad you said is making molotov cocktails you know they're all the way over here and you're all the way you know over here does that does that hurt you know not being able to be there with them yes it's hard but when I see position my family that she take guns and stay strong and I understand I need to be strong too. Like not step back, not like cry and still strong. Several Ukrainian uh, boxers and other fighters have said that they're going to stay in Ukraine and they're going to fight to defend the country. The Klitschko brothers, uh, Alexander Usyk, uh, Vitaly 
uh, Basil uh, Lomachenko and uh, even Yaroslav Amosov, who's a Bellator champion. How does that make you feel to hear that they're going to stay in the country and help defend? Oh, it's big respect. I start to post it more information in my Instagram. People see this and see uh, it's really champion. Usyk Lomachenko and President uh, Ukraine Zelensky, he not move outside. He stay in Ukraine still, uh, still in army, still help, still like support country. And I very respect and I very happy uh, that I'm Ukraine girl and um, uh, just just thank everyone. I just want to ask you a few more things, Marina, and thank you so much for the time. I know it's a, an emotional time for you and your family. Uh, you have not fought since 2020. It's been almost two years since the last time you fought. Why and, and how good does it feel now to get back into the octagon? Um, uh, first, I stuck in Ukraine, uh, coronavirus. I, I have visa, but uh, I didn't have stamp in my passport. I can move like seven months I stuck in Ukraine. Uh, after when I move, I have problem with documents because I start uh, to change because I uh, have my team here. I love Ukraine so much, uh, but I want to up like athlete, like sportsman. And I change like status and my uh, work permit, work documents stuck because it's coronavirus and like one year my council many times fight but one time of course i have injury uh, but after uh, many times fight council because i didn't have permit work documents it was almost one year and i prepared for fights ufc tried to help me a lot like make my documents but close the fight write me sorry we try again so cancel fight i still focus i don't say nothing in my instagram i don't show people uh, this situation because many people not understand many people aggressive but i still focus and i still to prepare it again again for fights and i believe that i back in octagon and i love my like I love uh, fighting and I so miss two years and right now I'm so excited to stay here and I'm ready for fight, I'm ready for show and I show good fights. Uh, the main event on Saturday is Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington, two guys who don't like each other mu very much. It's a grudge match. Not the only grudge match on the card though. You and your opponent Maria Agapova. You're not, you're not friends. Maybe you were at one point your former teammates. There's a grudge there. Can you explain the, the issues that you have with uh, Agapova? Um, I don't want to talk with Masha. Masha very aggressive person. Right now, I don't want to talk about no more about uh, she. I have opponent. I will be moving Octagon. I show my level. And that, that's it. No Masha. Zero Masha. I'm fighter and I, I show fighting. Last thing, again, the main event, Masvidal, Colby Covington. You trained an American top team. You were teammates with both of them. Yeah. You're still teammates with George. How do you see that fight going? Um, you know, I, I always focus my fights and I just see how people train and that's it. Like, I not concentration. I think it will be a good fight. Uh, I hope you guys show really sh good show. <laughs> were you were you in the gym when they had some like altercations, confrontations when they were almost fighting each other? Did you see any of that? Guys, uh, before Masvidal I, I, I see with Covington, yes, something happened a long time ago, but I not focus, you know, like. It's not my deal. Like I've always like I come in gym and focus uh, my life, my 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 train, uh, what I need to do. Like focus always. Like I don't touch another guys. <laughs> it's boy. I ask because a lot of people at American Top Team are not big fans of Colby Covington anymore. Uh, so I just wanted to ask you: do, Are you are you still friends with him, or do? You know, I never like couple times he say hi for me in gym and that's it like i very like 
uh, calm person, like come in gym, train. I have a couple friends, like my circle and my like my coaches, and I aware with everyone. I very nice, like very. Um, I not like respect, but uh, like I have a couple friends, and that's it for me. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Marina, like, so much. I appreciate it. Good luck on you. Saturday. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.